I'm not a drug addict. Drug addicts are, you know, the guys on the street. They're the kids who are going to the raves. No, sweetheart, you are a drug addict. You're more drug addict than them. Let's not kid each other. And you're numb because you can't feel. And you're ruled by very, very basic things. You're, you cannot master your basic emotions and they rule you. That's why they're able to send you to war. That's why you're willing to go and die for the church, for God, for country, for whatever. The more you become awake, the more you become sensitive. If you're doing this work with me, and in this work you feel like your sensitivity has increased, is because parts of you is waking up, because your mind is becoming quiet, you are discovering the truth of who you are, and you're becoming sensitive, sensitive to everything, to distracting noise, friends, people who talk too much, places you go that their music or their sound is in a frequency that is not matching your vibrations. Certain foods you can't eat anymore. You need to rest. You need time to yourself. You're not weird. You're waking up. You're becoming sensitive. That's a part of awakening sensitivity, which we have been desensitized systematically. And now we're waking up. Naturally, if fear or worry or jealousy or anger, whatever comes, and you're feeling it, that's not a bad thing. Congratulations. You're alive. Feel it. Acknowledge it, it's here. But don't identify with it that that's who you are. That's the part that you want to wake up to. And invest in yourself to learn how you can be the observer, learn, receive the tools. It's an investment in your consciousness. My retreat, if you come to my retreat or workshop or whatever, it's not something, to, don't come to it to pass time. Don't come to it with the intention that, oh my God, I just really feel good when I'm with Zarathustra. If that's what you want, that's fine. You can do it. But don't really honestly come for that. Come to learn and receive the tools and the know-how and then apply it in your life afterwards. Otherwise, why you come and waste your time and your money? Come and invest it in yourself and use that investment for life. Come and learn this thing one time. Do it correctly one time in your life so you don't have to redo it again. But we don't do it. We jump from this thing to the next thing and the next thing. We're not aware of it. I had so many people coming to my thing this week and next week going to do another thing and then two weeks after going to do another thing. Well, yeah, that's good in a way it's better than staying home and watching tv and listening to the news but you didn't apply what you learn in your life you have to apply them no one says don't go to other training programs and learn something from other people but you're not applying it to your life and now you acquired so many things from here and there that you're confused. You don't know what to do. And of course it doesn't work, so you're back into the same rut. 
and you're worried and you're just complaining that why things not changing because you're not applying them you got to apply them your vision has to change you're not going to a course because of the course you're investing in your consciousness it's an investment you change your point of view and you stay there that I'm investing in my consciousness it's an investment to uncondition myself it's an investment into finding the know-how how I can remain the witness how I can be the victor not the victim and learn mastery master your mind master your mind is not <laughs> learning techniques how to think positive how to use your mind to material stuff materialize stuff manifesting things that's no different than corporations that's no different than capitalism if you don't like capitalism then going to courses learning how to manifest things is another form of cap capitalism you just want to get what you want you're trying to create a system to bring wealth to bring your partner to get you want to manipulate life to get what you want that's capitalism you want to increase your stuff that's not what i'm teaching and that's not how you get to god you got to get detached from these things and then you get everything you need but first you have to get detached from your own mind not to strengthen it so when I say you master your mind, you're, it's not a technique to learn how to use the mind to get what you want, to attract things. It's mastering it so it doesn't rule you anymore. And you use it when it's needed as a tool. And that's it. You stop there. Otherwise, the, its implications are very, very dangerous. It can easily suck you back into the Maya, the world of illusions. And what happens is very simple. People who have no interest in self-realization, no interest in God-realization, no interest in this silence being quiet and coming into this divine place where you really feel complete like when we're doing the work we're here you've come to this blissful state you're blissed out you're quiet you're present you can hear the birds singing when you're drinking you you taste the drink whatever it is tea orange juice coffee you're becoming sensitive and alive and your goal and your mission is love you you are dedicated to love you want to find love in your life and you're trying to find peace in your life inner peace so you have turned you're going towards the sun, you're going towards the light.